Happy New Year and from wilderness of all places. Gordon and I did a little mini road trip um, to like the Eastern Cape and our last stop is now in wilderness so we're gonna leave this morning but I wanted to come on here and just wish you a great 2022. I know not everyone is excited for a new year. Some people started the new year without their loved ones, not in a great mental space. Maybe you just don't see great things happening for you. But just know that I wish I could give you a little hug and just say that I'm glad that you are still here. For the first time in a long time, I actually was alone on New Year's Eve. Courtney has FOMO, so he went to his... We had this party every year, like at his cousin's house. And it's always just been the thing. And throughout my entire 20s, that's just being like the happening spot but I think I'm getting to a point where I don't want to enter the new year with a headache like imagine the 1st of January with a headache I didn't want that and also I just wanted to sleep on my own bed because when I'm there you have to sleep on the couch or on a sleeper like a mattress and we're not there anymore so Courtney with the compartment on his own I was at home I had a face mask, I made myself a pizza, I was watching Kuei on the sofa and, and Courtney went to go party. <laughs> Luca is looking at me. <laughs> Courtney went to go party because he says it's tradition. But each to their own. So um and then we started our little road trip on the second of January. So this is the last and then we both start the grindstone again on the tenth. So I think by the time this video goes up, you've seen it. But yeah, I don't really have resolutions. I used to have a lot of resolutions, like a long list of things that I wanted to achieve for the year. And then by the time the year ended and I looked at that list, I'll be so disappointed in myself that I didn't achieve the things that I had written down. So what I've done for the last, I would say, two years is just prioritize like two or three goals that I wanted to achieve for the year. So for example, last year, my two big goals was to become debt free, which I've managed to do, and to read 40 books, which I've actually read 47 books at the end of 2021. 20, um, and this year, there's three things. I need mean, to get caught out of debt. I know it's not a me thing, but Courtney helped me get out of debt, so it's just fair I help him get out of debt. And then I want to read 55 books this year, which I know I can do seeing that I've ended off with 47 last year. And so far I'm on my third book for the year. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do well. And the last thing most Courtney and I wanna do is make sure that we get to explore at least a hundredth town this year. If you are new to this channel, Courtney and I um we started this thing where we don't have overseas kind of money but we do have money to explore our backyard and if you have seen my channel there is a lot of small town travel videos and places that I've explored. Our goal was to do all the small towns in the Western Cape. There's about 190 odd towns um, that I know of and so far we've done our 90th town which was to add on the first leg of this little trip. So we want to at least do a hundred or hit a hundred by the end of 2022 it's not a strange match if we don't because we still have full-time jobs and so it's often like a timing thing when to take leave and stuff like that and when to travel and how far we can go and those are the three things i want to prioritize the other big thing that i do want to prioritize this year is health and <laughs> i've been really bad with going to the doctor and even though i know things are wrong like you know your body, you know when shit goes wrong or it doesn't feel right and I just always avoid it and this year I just want to, I need to prioritize because there's a lot of things that's not sitting so liquor with me and I need to do that because I always have prioritized travel, like travel, I don't mind spending money on travel, I don't even blink an eyelid when it comes to booking travel trips, but when it comes to any health related things, like I still have to go to the dentist to undo my six month cleaning. It's probably been like what, I can't even remember how long, but it just shows you I don't prioritize health at all. And I, it's mainly because I don't have medical aid and so f with me, I everything is out of pocket expense, whereas with Courtney he is on medical aid. So, 
you can just go to the doctor whenever he wants to because it's something that he pays for but um yeah i'm hoping to go and do a doctor's appointment at the end of january i'm not gonna say what it is for year that's basically what my plans are for 2022 i don't like to plan the year i find that planning for the year like i'm not saying you can't plan like you can plan for financial things like savings and things like that and i like doing those things just planning your life in general i don't know it just doesn't work for me because things don't fall often fall into plan or the way that you want things to go like according to plan so whatever good things come along the way throughout 2022 i see it as a bonus both Courtney and i also gonna be 30 this year <laughs> Courtney and i've been making jokes for like <laughs> a while about we are really getting old and we think the big 3 oh and what we both want to do um for those respective birthdays uh courtney wants to have a jumping car he basically wants the 90s theme he wants to go back in like nostalgic 90s baby vibes so he wants a jumping car so a slippery slide and even a way i'm gonna find space to put all that stuff whereas with me mine is in august and i often change my mind constantly like i said i wanted this thing on a wire form and i wanted to invite all my friends but lately i actually just want to do like a little road trip because it's just such a fun thing for me and i love it and maybe do a different province because i've done quite extensive travels specifically in the northern cape obviously the western cape and now i've done the eastern cape twice i want to do a different province maybe for my 30th and then it was my mother's 60th and i've got friends that's also turning 30 so there's a lot of milestones happening this year which is very exciting i don't know what the future holds or what 2022 is gonna hold and it's gonna tell the punches which i've always been doing and they might be great highs and they might be junk lows so that's just life as well you know since 2020 it's been just a roller coaster of just sliding through life and surviving. I hope that you all are gonna do great things this year. I hope that you are gonna be along with me for the journey. I'm so glad that you guys are here and I'm um, constantly watching my videos and commenting and liking and subscribing. So if you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because after this video, there's gonna be a ton of travel videos coming up. <laughs> obviously because i did the strip and yeah i hope you guys are going to enjoy 2022 along with me and i will see you in my next videos bye guys